Hey there, welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, we have seen what we'll be going to build for this whole course. We'll be going to build one full class departmental store online application. And in this lecture, we'll be going to discuss about the prerequisites and the outlines of the whole course. So what are the prerequisites we need to install in our computer? First of all, we need Node.js because from the front end, we're going to write React.js codes and the back end, we're going to write uh, Node.js and Postify. So that's why you need to install the Node.js in your computer. So make sure you have installed at least minimum version of the 20. And we need Docker also because out of the box, we're going to run many Docker images right there. That's why we need the Docker uh, installed in our computer. So make sure you are installing Docker desktop or maybe other way around, you can install the Docker from your machine with the help of maybe Homebrew or similar kind of tools. But I'm recommending to use the Docker desktop for your machine. Here you can see like you will be getting all of these three major uh, architecture. If you're using Mac, then go ahead, install the Mac version right there or Windows or maybe a Linux version also, you can install it from here. Then we will need the PostgreSQL. So definitely if you are if you have installed Docker, then you can run the PostgreSQL from the right there. But if you prefer to install the PostgreSQL in your machine, then go ahead and install it right there also. But this is, um, this is quite optional. Um, we are going to run our uh, PostgreSQL with the help of Docker. Then as a kind of database client, we need some kind of database client. Uh, this is very lightweight database client. It's, it's called Table Plus. And uh, you, can, you can install it and use it for free. But definitely, if you if you prefer to use some other type of maybe uh, database client, then go ahead and install it accordingly. And finally, we need the Postman because we're going to write a lot of backend codes. So we need to test it out right before exposing to front end. We can uh, we, we need to test it out all of the endpoints right there. So make sure you have installed Postman in your computer. And finally, we're going to use Elasticsearch. If you're curious about what is Elasticsearch, then you can go ahead and do a little bit R&D beforehand. But nothing to worry, we're going to cover each and every bit of the Elasticsearch operations in our, our application uh, by writing a lot of codes. Perfect. Then these are some of the prerequisites you need to install in your computer. Now let's go back to the outline. So what are the outlines we are going to cover? In the introduction section, you can see like we have covered uh, what we'll be going to build and what are the prerequisites will be there. In the kickstart phase, we're going to set up our front end uh, project. And we'll be going to kickstart off our what are the frameworks will be needed for our front end. Then we'll be prototyping and design overview where we will check it out how Pigma is working and what kind of elements maybe it's going to help us out to design the same type of design themes and everything iterate to our front end application. Then in the back end section, we'll be going to set up our back end project and we will deep dive on the prerequisites, what are the back end prerequisites going to be needed for us. And in the backend section, we are going to put our hands on system architecture also. We'll be going to give you a little bit overview how system architecture uh, stuff is going to work while we are planning to build something in the backend. And we will put a little bit hands on the high level design and low level design also try to figure out how our backend system is going to work and how we can make a kind of scalable backend system. Those are the things we will be going to explore in HLD and LLD section. Then, we will be going to design our all of the modules one by one as an example of product and catalogs where we will discuss about how we can onboard our products, how we can onboard the categories, how we how we can handle the variants, stock, image and assets, etc. Then user onboarding section we will be handling the create user, login, profile, address and progress password. Then shopping journey we will be going to integrate our elastic shares and we will be deep dive on the how we can browse the products and all. Then finally, we'll be try to add all of the items to the product items to the cart, make the payment, create the order, and maybe handling the cancel order, etc. Then we'll be going to put our hands on the front end application. So where we will design all of the components for, for us and all of the pages, just like in a landing page and product listing page, uh, add to cart, the category page, source space, everything we are going to cover right there. We will handle in the front end side the customer journey also, how customer will be lending to our page, how customer will log in, adding to the adding item to the cart and moving forward with the shopping journey. Finally, we will cover the checkout part where we will integrate our payment and handling all of this payment back and forth to collect this order. Once we are able to successfully make the payment, then we'll be going to create the order. In the payment integration section, we'll be going to integrate our card payment, webhooks, and we will explore various payment services available in the internet. 
in the delivery section, we will cover the shipping estimation and tracking, where we will try to give a kind of complete overview of a delivery package right after post order, how customer can track his order. In the logger and monitoring section, we will put our hands on observability and the Grafana and Prometheus integration we will do. So we will always make sure like our application is performing very well. And if something is going wrong right there, how we can backtrack and how we can find the logs from our uh, production application. In the CI CD section, we will put our hands on continuous integration where we will set up our CI CD pipeline. And finally, we will deliver our product, all of the features with the help of trunk based delivery. In the cloud infrastructure, we will put our hands on understanding AWS and GCP infrastructure. And finally, we will tackle our deployment for the front end and the back end. So these are the stuff we're going to handle throughout of our whole course. In the next lecture, we're going to set up our front end project. All right, then see you right there. Thank you.